Hey guys, I like to do a channel update about four times a year, usually a seasonal one. This is the fall update for my channel, Coastal Waves and Wires. Kind of want to review what I'm doing. A lot of times there are a lot of questions that I just don't have time for, and I kind of sum them up here and I kind of let you know what's what I where my mind's at, what I'm doing with the channel, where we're going with it, uh, what what radios are we going to play with next, what antennas are we going to build next, what's that stuff behind me, all that good stuff and the questions that you ask. I'll tell you, I'm working right now from home, so uh, right over here is my little uh, not, like four monitors and screens. I'm I'm a um, engineering designer and I'm working uh, modeling and doing stuff um fortunately right here from home but some long days i don't get off until i uh, start in the mornings i don't get off till 5 p.m and next week as i'm filming this uh our daylight saving time change changes and it's gonna be dark so um i really miss being able to go out anytime any day when i want to when conditions are good and play around but now it's kind of going to be weekends and maybe one or two, you know, evening gray line issues a week or stuff to play with some of the stuff I have. If you've been watching the channel, you noticed I've really been, I've, I've kind of had this whatever moniker I've said, leave no antenna behind. Really trying to expand my knowledge of antennas from a hands-on thing and, uh, and, and play with more stuff. And I've done some, you know, co-phased antennas. I, I did the co-phased verticals. Um, I've done, um, you know, vertical type beams, you know, three element vertical antenna, and put that together. Um, and different stuff like that. A half square, if you watch, I did a half square. Um, and then I did an antenna with a reflector. Well, I got some other antennas coming up and, and kind of in that category, as well as some other antennas that are just really um, kind of, I, you know, I can't find a lot of information in the ham world about. Um, well, some of the antennas, one I've had, and I've had this for a long time, my friend John uh, NJ4Z owns um, a Performance Z array. So I've got all the cables cut. I've got everything for a phased array. I mean, the phaser, everything, the box, I've got it all. And I just want to get out and, and do a phased array vertical for 20 meters in the perfect conditions. It seems like every time I really get to a point where, all right, now's the day <laughs> I look and there it is. The conditions are just like horrible. Like today, exactly. I looked at the conditions today and I'm like, geez, I mean, I, but that's part of uh, the being up towards the top of the solar cycle and where it's at. So that's coming. I'll, I'll get, I'll get, uh, I'll get that one as well. Another antenna, some other ones. I've, if you follow me on other social media, I've kind of hinted at, but I really want to look, look into is I've got, I've done a lot of research on rhombics. What's really cool is I've even got, this is old. This is from the 40s, April 1944. It's an old um, military, I was fortunate enough to get this, military drawings and everything for uh, for rhombic for rhombic antennas. Now, rhombics were huge during World War II for receive, and uh, they really served well, if you're familiar with the uh, the U.S. listening post uh, across the uh, country, they they use rhombics. Well, I've been heavily into modeling a rhombic for trans, you know, for both receive and transmit, and uh, I've got one designed. I don't want to say I designed it. I'm, I I modeled it. I've kind of went through a lot of different designs and put something together. Kind of portable. I'm going to need a lot of real estate to put it out, but I think I've found a field where I can build it. I want to build a rhombic antenna. Now, I'm a little frustrated because I ordered, uh, it, this requires uh, termination resistors, and there's not a lot of people that have it. There is a U.S. builder, and I ordered from over a month ago. I still don't have it. I've kind of been a squeaky wheel, and it looks like it may be on its way. Uh, since then, I ex and the other one is that is I'm going to use a 12 one ballon with that and uh, that same part of that same order. So just waiting on parts to build it. You know, like three weeks in, I still have my parts I ordered uh, from China, and I got that. Like there's a 12 one ballon from China. Got that like within a week. I'm like, come on, guys, we're Americans. If you want me to buy U.S., build U.S. and and, and be U.S., let's uh, let's get some service here and get some things shipped. Um, so that was a little frustrating, but hey, you know things happen. I know. No, I mean, I get behind on stuff too. So maybe just a, you know, bad day or whatever. But I really want to build this rhombic and I want to build some antennas using terminating resistors and kind of odd balance, like 12 to ones, whatever. And, um, and like, like the, the, the rhombic is the big one. I want to build a vertical half rhombic, uh, or we'll call that an inverted V terminated with a counterpoise, if you want to call it that. 
Um, V-beam, that's another terminated V-beam. I want to build all these. I've got a spot to do it. It's an old field that uh, where a building was taken down. It's just a big field in my town. I'm going to go out and do that and build it there. So that's that's coming, and I really want to feature that on the channel. I really, if you know me, you know I'm really into antennas. I mean, I've got an antenna book out about that book is more simple verticals and, you know, just the kind of entry level to portable antennas. Well, I think this is pushing the envelope of portable, but I really want to get into it and, and do it and, uh, you know, increase my antenna knowledge. I'm a hands-on guy. You know, I get so frustrated when someone puts a comment on a video saying, no, oh, that won't work, whatever. And I go, hey, did you, have you built it? No, I read it in the, in the you know, antenna handbook. Well, you know what? And I am not that guy. I want to build it so I can have a, if I'm going to comment on something, I can tell you there. So that's where I'm at as far as the uh, antenna bills in the channel. What you see right here, this is the T41 EP. I did a video on this um, after Huntsville um, in regards to the book for that right here, this book from um, Al Peter and, and Dr. Jack Purdom. Um, guess what they did? And I'm just overwhelmed that they did it. Um, Jason, uh, Justin, I should say, Justin, uh, AI6YM, who makes the kits for these, donated one to them, and they built me one. So I'm um, really excited about this. What I did do after I got it from them, I opened it up, looked all through it, to just kind of follow along what it would take to build one of these. And uh, this thing's awesome. I'm going to get it on. We're going to do it. We're going to feature that on the channel here real soon. I really want to, um, before I do a lengthy video on it, I don't just want to play with it for a day and do a video. I'm going to kind of, you know, do some operating with it, play around with it, have some fun with it. And then uh, we'll do a, a, you know, a, a deep dive. I'll do a video on the, um, the T41 EP, man. That's a really cool 20 watt um, multiband, uh, six to one, six, 10 to 160. Anyway, uh, HF transceiver. So that a lot of people were asking me, what's that over your shoulder? Um, been playing around with it, cool radio, and uh, we'll, we'll see that coming up on the channel as well. As far as the other stuff, you know, people have offered and, uh, and, and, and asked me, you know, would you like to try something? I've, I've turned down a lot. Uh, Radiotity asked me if I wanted to do a video on this. This is the uh, RS-919 uh, um, Ratty uh, receiver. This thing receives everything, um, you know, SSB, the whole ball of wax. What I like about it is all the antenna ports. I can play around with different antennas. If you know me, I'm a medium wave DX or so. Really excited about this. I'm going to get out, maybe even get down by the seawall and do some medium wave DXing. We'll do a little review on the Ratty 919. That's something I did accept from them. Um, not much other than that. Other than that, what I like to do is is purchase things that I know I'm going to keep, want, review, what have you. Sometimes when I go to do that, um, that I'll I'll pay for it and I'll get the person. And this just happened to me recently. Um, I purchased an antenna from Martin Lynch and son and Tony there got right back to me and goes, Hey, whoa, 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 we want are you gonna do a video? Yeah, we would like for you to have a video. We're gonna send you this antenna and refund your money. And that was the moxin, the vertical moxin I just did. And I almost feel like I need to send them the money. That thing was so awesome. It was a great antenna. I just did a video on that, the uh, vertical moxin from uh, Martin Lynch and Sons. Uh, I liked it so much that uh, I went ahead and uh, took what the money I had in the kitty for antennas. And today I purchased a, um, I kind of wanted to do a low key, didn't low, let them know it was me if I could help it. But I did purchase a, um, a uh, loop on the ground receive antenna. I want to play around with one of those as well. So that's something else, you know, that that's going on and in, in, in what I've had. So other stuff that I'm really trying to do, I, I tell you some of the antennas I want to do, um, what's going on with me. I will tell you this, as it's getting closer to winter and it's harder for me to get, maybe I would love to get on the beach time-wise, Getting over to the beach is about a 20-minute run for me, whatever. Time is precious. Um, I have a backyard, uh, not here, but uh, my wife's mother, we take care of her, and her home has got a big backyard in it. You may see me uh, spending time with mom and uh, out in the backyard doing some videos from there, which I think is really cool because it'll be away from water. And uh, kind of like when I was in Poland, I called the backyard the antenna uh, proving ground or test grounds. We're going to kind of make... Uh, now, mom's backyard is going to be my new antenna test ground, so I'm going to put some stuff over there. I already have all my tools and everything in the garage over there, so it's it's almost like I 
kind of live there anyway, but we're going to do that as well. So other questions, you guys got me a lot of time. I've been asked questions about, uh, see if you can see it up there, the uh, PMR uh, 171. People ask me, what's up? What's the deal with that? You loved it so much. I do. I love that radio. I really do. Um, I was communicating well with Goy Tech and then it just disappeared. So I don't know what's up with that. Uh, I will say this. I actually answered a comment yesterday about this. People are like, what do you think of it? Still really like that radio. We'll still use that radio and have some fun with it. That radio gets so much negativity because I think people don't have the patience to dial that radio in. It took me two, three, four different um, situations of operating it with it, whatever, to, to, to dial in, you know, RF, everything about it, just everything, you know, just basically uh, aligning the radio to work. Now, I've got mine perfect. People will have asked, will you do a video on your settings? I probably will as soon as I get some time to do that. Um, I'll, I'll put, uh, put together, uh, that as well. Uh, you guys have probably seen how giddy I've been over the Yesu, uh, FT 450 D. Uh, it's, it's been nice going out and playing. I know a lot of people operate with hundred Watts, had fun with that as well as I've been out portable with my Yesu, um, FT 710. That's been awesome too. So all those radios, somebody has been overlooked. So I will tell you this, I'm going to get back to, and you're going to see a whole lot of, um, of my favorite radio ever um uh, it, it, we're back together again you're going to see the g90 i love this radio i i always say that this should be and is the most ultimate beginners not even beginners i mean just a great portable um you know radio with 20 watts the, the tuner and the thing's awesome yeah it doesn't sound as good as the ac radios not at all yeah the uh the postage stamp size um uh screen there for the sdr the, the waterfall is tiny but you know what for what you get that is a great radio for the price i um i, I just love it i can't wait i'm gonna get back out i've just neglected the heck out of that radio so a lot of people ask me you know when i get a radio oh what happened to the g90 whatever hey guys i'm a youtuber <laughs> i like to try to different things and do videos with different radios as part of uh, what i you know what i do as far as making videos for me i think it makes me a better operator it gives me more knowledge when i'm talking to people about a radio that you know i can say yeah i've operated with it a lot of people ask me questions about antennas you know and, and they go what do you how does it like you know how does it compare to this antenna or that antenna and i just i'm usually honest look I've never used that antenna. I don't know. I'll say I've never used that radio. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's that's who I am and how I operate and uh, and what's you know and, and what things the way things go anyway. So anyway, I just want to do a quick update. I do these about every you know every fall, every fall, winter, spring, summer. Just kind of a seasonal update on the channel to let you know. Most of all, I do it to say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the Patreons. Thank you for the uh, channel supporters. Thank you for just watching my videos because what you do when you watch my videos, I monetize that helps me and I take that money once a month and I go back and buy things like the MLS uh, antenna I just bought today and, 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 and radios, not that one, but you know, radios that I use. And uh, yeah, I'm a hoarder. I kind of hold on to them, but um, it's nice. Sometimes I'll go back and revisit them as, as well and have some fun with them. So Thank you so much for your support, your channel support, whether you're a channel member, a Patreon, or you just subscribed and watch my videos. You're helping me live the dream. Um, I want to retire. I can't wait to retire so I can do this full time 24 seven right now. You know, working 40 hours a week is, uh, is, is getting in my way. It's cramping my style of being a uh, ham radio guy, a YouTuber 24 seven. That's what I want to do. I'm absolutely passionate about this. I hope that my videos spark other people to get out and operate, spark people to get their license and uh, become amateur radio operators and just kind of helps the, uh, growth of our in incredible hobby. Anyway, I'm rambling on now. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being a part of my channel. Till next time, guys. I'm Walt K4OGO. Stay salty.